So a month or so ago, we talked about the fact that Rudy Giuliani is apparently about $45,000 behind on paying his ex-wife the divorce agreement payments that he is supposed to be paying her. You know, things like the, the housekeeper, other payments that he owes her. It's basically a form of alimony that's not quite alimony, but it's also pretty much alimony. And he owes her $45,000. She hasn't gotten money from him in forever. The last $10,000 check he wrote to her bounced. And now Rudy Giuliani in an interview with the uh, New York Daily News says that, hey, I'd have gladly paid her the money. <laughs> she just never sent me the forms. I didn't, I didn't know I owed it. I, I have the money. Of course, I totally have the money. He says, she just didn't send me the stuff. Here's what he said verbatim. It's literally about three or four payments that amount to $45,000, which I will obviously pay. There was no reason for this because I would have paid them had she sent me a correct complaint. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is that it's not much of an excuse, but, but I'm being sued in 10 different cases. I did nothing wrong in Georgia. I did nothing wrong anywhere. So he's like, Hey, listen, you know, she didn't send me these things, even though I already knew I owed the money because I had sent her a check and the check bounced. But I mean, I'm also being sued like pretty much everywhere I go. And so, you know, I mean, just whoa, payments, right? I mean, gosh, darn it. I'm a busy guy <laughs> being sued by everybody under the sun. So I'm so sorry. I forgot to make the payments that you actually are the reason I didn't make the payments because you didn't send me the things. There was a time here in this country that not only was Rudy Giuliani looked upon as a hero for 9-11 by simple fact of being the mayor of New York City, but he was also prior to that looked upon as being a great prosecutor. He was a good prosecutor. The guy went after the mob. He was successful with it. He actually had a good legal mind, but man, I can't tell you how much that doesn't apply to what Rudy Giuliani has become today. His, his defense of this is that I didn't know, she didn't send me the documents, I'm being sued everywhere, so I got a lot on my plate, Er, it's crazy right now, you know, get back to me later. But here's the thing, first of all, as I pointed out, you had sent her a check that bounced. So clearly you already knew you owed her the money. You cannot use that argument because you sent money, but you didn't have it. And you're like, obviously I would pay, I've, I've got the money. No, you clearly do not. You did not have the money to cover that $10,000 check you wrote your ex-wife. That is on the record. Second of all, let's assume that you thought maybe that $10,000 payment was the end of it. Maybe you didn't even know the check bounce, which I find impossible to believe. But let's assume we'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Rudy, that that's what happened. Even if that were the case, this story has been out in the media for over a month. You mean to tell me that you didn't know when this was all over the news a month ago? Like you didn't Google yourself? I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that you do not have your name set up in Google alerts to where every time there is a story written about you, it gets sent right to your inbox. You knew. And to pretend otherwise is an absolute farce. And arguing that, hey, I'd pay her, but I'm being sued by everybody else in the country. As you admitted yourself, that's not even a good excuse, so why bring it up? Dig deep into your pockets, Rudy. $45,000 to your ex-wife. That is what you owe. You publicly humiliated her by, was it like marrying your cousin or something? So yeah, pay up, you deadbeat. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.